Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome, glad to have you. You know, every year I do uh, a video for Veterans Day, and uh, for those of you who have been here before, you know my both my sons are vets, Iraq and Afghanistan, and uh, so I have a special place in my heart for vets. And uh, for those of you who are employers, uh, I just want to remind you that a vet is a really good bet. Uh, if they've got some skills that you need, try hiring a vet first. Um, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And for those of you riding motorcycles, well, maybe you should invite a vet along. Maybe they don't know anything about motorcycles. Maybe you should introduce them to motorcycles because I found it's one of the best things for coping and getting back into life is having a group of motorcycle riders to ride with. So you'll probably notice I've got my uh, Patriot Guard cut on. You know, I wear this to uh, honor my kids, but the first time I ever saw motorcycles make a difference to vets is in the Patriot Guard. I met so many of them. Uh, and they told me how much uh, it made a difference in their life. And I understand that. There's a, it's a common bond. And uh, some of the guys had just gotten into motorcycles. A lot of them uh, also were there to help some of the uh, grieving families coming back. They wanted to do something. Which uh, gave them a sense of purpose. But uh, I think it's really important that uh, we involve our vets in motorcycles. One of the other things I noticed was uh, the biker groups coming up. Uh, in Colorado, they had the combat vets. And, uh, I got to meet a few of those guys. Um, but then there were other 1% clubs and all that that uh, were coming up. And they, were, they wanted the camaraderie. And the only place they can get it is in some type of motorcycle organization. It, uh, when my son came back from uh, Iraq, my oldest, the first thing he wanted to do was buy a Harley. And uh, all his friends in his unit were riding, so he bought one in Iraq, sent it to me. And uh, I was still living in Colorado. And he was based at Fort Hood down in Texas. And he asked me to uh, write it down for him, which I gladly did. Uh, it was October, maybe early part of November, when uh, his unit came back. And boy, did I freeze my ass off 
going over the mountains, uh, getting into Texas. And it was worth it. I uh, delivered the bike and uh, taught him how to ride it a little bit. He had no idea. And uh, I was glad to do it. Six months later, I came back and he uh, he was already riding with some friends. And I got a chance to ride with them. It was a great experience. Some of the uh, back roads in Texas are, are uh, awesome. Uh, I got to learn a few. And you guys who live in the Fort Hood, Austin area, you got some great roads down there. So... Uh, I got to experience just uh, the vets coming back firsthand and the difference it made. One of the things we did was uh, did those honor runs with the World War II vets. And uh, when people think of vets, that's what they think of old guys, but we're talking about very young guys honoring you know, the guys coming back from Korea in World War II. And that was one of the most astounding things I've ever witnessed. Uh, at that time, there were still more World War II vets with us. And we had five busloads and uh, escorted them up from uh, Denver, Denver to uh, Cheyenne. And uh, Wow, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Uh, we were all in an airplane hangar, waiting for the planes to uh, take them to uh, D.C. And to see the, uh, the vets who just came home from Iraq and Afghanistan and the World War II vets uh, was really... I don't know how to say it, except it was heartwarming and they, they appreciated it. And it's one of the uh, most profound things I had ever seen on a motorcycle. I think I'll stop here and Wait for my guys. Well, we have a Vietnam vet with us today. Former Marine. No such thing as an ex-Marine. Once a Marine, always a Marine. So we're just going to uh, take a little ride out to breakfast. Gonna go out farm country here, where it's beautiful, so. Why don't y'all just come along?
Well, folks, we're coming into Fort Meade. This little restaurant up here. It's a great little town. And we are going to buy a Vietnam vet breakfast. He doesn't know it yet, but we are.